Hello and welcome to Ahmed Coaching and this is your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about muscle tissue. Muscle tissue is the most abundant tissue in an animal and the importance of this tissue is that it is composed of cells that have the special ability to contract. So when they are contracting they are actually helping in the movement of body parts. Here in this diagram you can see these are the muscle tissues and because they are attached with the bones they are going to contract and because of this contraction the movement of the body will take place. The cells in the muscle tissues they are actually long and cylinder and they are called muscle fibers. The muscle fibers they are actually arranged in bundles. They are arranged like this. These are the hay bundles. Similarly, the muscle tissue cells or muscle fibers, they are arranged in the form of bundles. There are three types of muscle tissues. Skeletal muscles, smooth muscles, cardiac muscles. Let's study one by one. The first one is skeletal muscle. The skeletal muscles, they are also called as striated muscles. Now, the question is what is striated striated are actually the long thin parallel lines which are present on the cells so because of the presence of these parallel lines they are called as striated muscles skeletal muscle fibers if you see here this is the skeletal muscle if i just take one cell out of this skeletal muscle then i have this skeletal muscle fiber so the skeletal muscle fibers they are striated means they have these parallel lines they are multinucleated it means they contain more than one nucleus in their cell here you can see this part here this is nucleus Along with these, the muscle tissues, they are under voluntary control. Voluntary control means that you can control the movement of these tissues. These tissues, they are attached to the bones, like I told you before. Because of their attachment, the movement of body parts takes place. The second one is smooth muscle. The smooth muscles, they are non-striated muscles. It means that they do not contain that particular lines which were present in the skeletal muscles the smooth muscle cells they are spindle shape you can see their shape they are actually like this which is spindle shape they are smooth smooth means they do not have any kind of parallel lines and they are uninucleated it means they contains only one nucleus the smooth muscles they are under involuntary control it means you cannot control their movement they are just moving on their own or when the body requires their movement they are going to move these muscles they are present in the alimentary canal urinary bladder and blood vessels they are responsible for the movement of substances for example in the stomach the smooth muscles are present so if you eat something the movement of this food along the stomach or along the alimentary canal is actually controlled by the smooth muscles the third one is cardiac muscles. Cardiac word is used for heart. Whenever you see the word cardiac, it means we are talking about heart. So the cardiac muscles are actually present in heart tissues or in heart. They are actually striated muscles. It means that they contain these parallel lines. Their cells are branching fibers. We saw in the skeletal muscles that they were long. We saw in the smooth muscles that they are spindle shape, something like this. But in the case of cardiac muscles, they are branched shape. You can see the branches are generating from the cell. They are striated, means they have these thin long parallel lines and they are uninucleated. It means they contain only one nucleus. The cardiac muscles, they are under involuntary control. It means that you cannot control their movement. That is why the heart beat on its own and you cannot control the beating of heart. Like I told you before that cardiac muscles, they are present in the wall of heart. So their work is to produce heartbeat. So that was all about the muscle tissue, its types and its examples. I hope this lesson was useful to you.